Welcome to Procure Engine. This quick guide will help you understand how to submit your offer against a request for quotation or RFQ on the Procure Engine supplier portal. If you are selected for participation in an RFQ by your customer, you will receive two emails, one to your primary email address and another to your secondary email address. The secondary email is for notification and contains only the basic RFQ details. The email sent to your primary email will include the basic details of the RFQ, your login credentials, and the link to the sourcing portal. Please plan to submit your offer within the specified date and time. It is always good to log in well before the RFQ deadline. To participate, open the sourcing portal by clicking on the sourcing portal link and enter your login credentials. Upon logging in, all your upcoming RFQs will be visible on your dashboard in the Open Events section. Also, if you need any assistance with the Procure Engine portal or the RFQ process, you can chat with our AI enabled chatbot Abby. Once you click on the relevant RFQ, it will show you the terms and conditions of that RFQ. Please go through the terms, check the accept box, and press continue to participate in the RFQ. If your RFQ has a start date and time and you enter before the start date and time, you will be able to see only limited details. Complete RFQ details will be visible only after the start time has passed. If you don't wish to participate, you can regret with reasons by clicking regret to quote on the top right of the first tab of the RFQ. This helps with better coordination for the buyer. If you decide to participate, on the first tab, you will see basic details of the RFQ including attachments from the buyer. Review and click save and continue. If you need technical inputs or clarification from the buyer during the pre-bid stage of the RFQ, you can do so by clicking on the communication hub. On the second tab, you'll see the list of items. For each item, click enter price. Add your basic price and in commercial terms, add applicable taxes and other terms. To apply the same terms to all items, tick the checkbox to replicate. If you prefer, you can also download the prefilled Excel sheet. Fill in prices and terms. Then upload it. Using the Browse option on the second tab. After that, move to other commercial terms, fill in all the mandatory fields, and continue. If you need to upload any documents, go to the Response Attachments section, add a description, and click the plus icon to save. Next is the Technical Questions section. Make sure to answer everything carefully and upload any required documents. Finally, click Save and Preview to review your response, and, once you are satisfied, hit Submit. To check what you've submitted, go to Submitted Closed RFX. Open the RFQ and view your details. And that's it. If you need help, feel free to contact the Procure Engine support team. Thanks for watching.